Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations and in today's video we are going to create this stylized text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's create a composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS. Just click on OK. Now let's create another composition for our text and let's call this text main and all the things will remain same and we are going to create another composition for text outline and all the things will remain same just click on ok now let's open up the text main comp and over here i'm going to type my text so you can select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want so i'm going to type candy for this example now let me just quickly select this and let's scale this up so press S and I'm going to scale this to 500. Now let's align this into the center of this composition. So you can select the layer and you can click the align panel. And it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. For this example, I'm going to use this corner store JF because it looks good for this example. So now we have our text and I'm going to quickly select the text. Press Ctrl C to copy it. Let's go to the text outline and press Ctrl V and paste it. Now I'm going to add some outline to this so we can double click to select this and over here we are going to just simply increase this number. So I'm going to set this to something like 7.2 and make sure that this option is set to all fills over stroke and we are pretty much done with it. If you want to change the color of the stroke then you can just simply click on this color and from here you can pick whatever color you want. But for this example I'm going to stick with this pink color. Now let's go to the main comp and over here I'm going to quickly drag and drop all of these two layers. So let's create a new solid, right click solid, just click on OK. And on this one I'm going to apply gradient ramp, just search for it and drag it onto this layer. And let's change this to radial. Just move these endpoints to something like this. And let's change the color. So I'm going to move this to the bottom and let me just quickly pick this color and I'm going to make this lighter something like this and the second color we can probably select this so yeah, I think this is looking good but if you want you can make it a little bit darker as well just like that now let's start applying some effects to this so first I'm going to hide the main comb and we are going to focus on the text outline so just search for CC glass effect and drag it onto this so over here we are going to change a couple of settings under the surface so first is let's change the property from lightness to alpha and the softness we are going to set this to 5.2 the height we can set this to something like 18 so now you can see we have this kind of look and the other settings are completely experimental if you want you can play around with the direction of the light and the intensity or light height whatever you want but for this one i'm going to leave it as it is now we're ready to add more effects so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one i'm going to delete the cc glass effect and i'm going to search for radial blur so cc radial blur just drag it onto this and let's change a couple of the parameters over here as well so first i'm going to change this to fading zoom and the amount we are going to set this to something like 100 just to see how this is looking and the quality let's set this to 10 and on this one i'm going to apply fill as well because we don't want any color over here so i'm going to pick this dark color which is this one from here just like that now we are going to add some 3d highlights to this so let's search for curves just drag it on top of it change this to alpha and i'm going to just quickly click in the center and just expand this to this corner something like this so now you can see we have this really amazing kind of effect and we are going to tweak some of these parameters so first i'm going to lower down the amount so let's just set this to something like 11.5 and i'm going to change the center as well so we are going to move this little bit up so that we have this really nice highlight now I'm going to select the text outline and press Ctrl D one more time. And on this one I'm going to apply another effect so which is the drop shadow. So just search for drop shadow and drag it onto this. And let's change a couple of the parameters. So first I'm going to change the opacity to something like 60. And the direction is fine and let's change the color as well. So I'm going to pick this color. 
and let's increase the distance to something like 25 increase the softness to something like 20 now i'm going to select this layer and let's change its mode from normal to hard light something like this so now you can see we have this really nice outline over here as well we can probably change its color so yeah, i think this is looking good we can add some glitter on the text so for that i'm going to select the text main and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's create a new solid so go to layer new solid just click on ok and on this one i'm going to apply fractal noise and let's increase the contrast now i'm going to place this below the text main and let's change the track mat to alpha mat so now you can see we have this kind of look and we can tweak around with a couple of these parameters so first i'm going to increase the brightness and let's play around with the scale and let's make this smaller something like this now we can select this press t and we can lower down its opacity as well something like this so now you can see we have this really nice glittery kind of effect so we are done with that text and now let's add some stripes to the background so for that i'm going to select the pen tool and let's enable the title and action save so i'm going to click in the middle and then let's click somewhere over here and we are going to increase the stroke so it's already set to 400 now we can select the layer and let's go inside the stroke and from here we are going to change the taper value so you can play around with the length so i'm going to just simply increase this to 100 so now you can see we have this sort of shape and on this one i'm going to add a repeater after that let's go under the repeater and i'm going to change the number of copies to six and let's go under the transform and let's change the position to zero now we are going to change the rotation and we are going to divide the 360 by the number of copies you have so if you have eight then you can divide it by eight since i have six so i'm going to divide it by six so now you can see we have this really amazing look we can probably select this and let's move this further so that all these are occupied just like that now i'm going to quickly change their anchor point so let me just quickly select this and i'm going to move this anchor point to the center just like that also let me just quickly select the pen tool and i'm going to move this point to the center as well just like that so now you can select this layer and we can add some rotation to this so press r and let's add a rotation and let's move to somewhere around here and let's set this to one or maybe two whatever you want so now you can see we have this really amazing rotation animation and let's tweak this further to make it look much better so i'm going to first quickly place this below all of these layers and after that we can create a new solid so right click new solid and we're going to change these from straight to wavy lines for that we are going to use a time displacement effect and we are going to apply gradient ramp drag it onto this i'm going to change this to radial ramp and let's place this to the middle and we are going to change this to the edges something like this after that we can probably hide this layer and on this one we are going to apply time displacement so just search for it and drag it onto this layer now it's completely up to you you can play around with a couple of these properties so first is the time displacement second so i'm going to set this to negative 0.5 and the time resolution i'm going to set this to 120 and after that we are going to change the time displacement layer from this to the black solid that we just created if you want you can just simply rename this and let's call this time displacement and from here we are going to change this to time map and just select effects and mask and now you can see we have this wavy pattern and we are we probably have to just move this to a couple of frames ahead so that we have a continuous animation something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice rotating animation in the background you can also add some drop shadow onto this or you can just simply copy this and just paste it on top of it and let's set this to hard light as well there you go now you can see we have this really amazing animation 
if you want you can add the text animation to these characters as well so you can go inside the text main and let's go to animate and i'm going to animate the position and let's add scale as well so first let's animate the position i'm going to move this to the bottom something like this let's go to the range selector and under the advanced first i'm going to change this to square and make it ramp up now we can add the keyframe to the offset let's set this to 100 negative 100 after that we can set this to 100 something like this and under the scale let's set this to zero also let's increase the ease low so there you go now you can see we have this really amazing text coming out you can probably select this press f9 and you can just simply play around with the graph and tweak the curves but this is completely up to you so i think this is looking good now you can probably select the animator press ctrl c and we have to just paste it onto this so select this press ctrl v so now you can see we have the same animation over here as well so if i go into the main comp you can see that i can just simply play around with the animation and you can see all the letters are animating just like that so this is how you can create these kind of stylized look and if you want you can just simply change the colors and you can get different kind of looks so i hope you learned something from this video and the tutorial project files are available on patreon so if you want to download them then you can support me over there you will get access to the tutorial project file and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Bye.